and as we're don't know if I'm no, I'm still behind. Okay. Uh, okay. Question number nine, the last one. If you could be one game character, who would it be? Another good question. I think Button Vince has actually asked the best questions here. If I were to be honest, uh, if I were to say, it would have to be. I don't know. I have to say Sonic because I mean, well, he is. Well, he's fastest, and like, and I quite like to be fast, and like, he's cool, and. Everything like that. Or I have to say Crash as well, because I mean, well, he, he's also cool. Alright then. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to just slow down here so I can scroll down. Oh god. Okay, next user we have here is Chris Matta Games, who's a big fan of my PS1 demo series, and if you're watching this, it will mean you'll be glad I'm playing this one. If you if you know well aware of this one, yes, I know I failed on Colin McRae rally miserably, but I don't really care. All right then, uh, question one he asks is, what two games did you know so well? Oh God, it's hard to keep an eye on the screen and on the questions at the same time. Uh, what two games did you know so well but didn't own? Okay, we're finished. But you, do you, but you didn't own well. Okay, I'm not going to sit and watch that. Very humiliating, I'm not watching that. Anyway. The uh, first game I have to say that I know quite well, but I didn't, I've never owned before. Or maybe maybe I did own, but that was like a long time ago. was um, Croc, the first one, The Legend of the Gobos. I owned that one uh, quite some time ago, but yeah, I didn't really finish it. But I did know it very well. And another one I have to say would probably be the Mario games, if I were to say... Okay, right, Destruction Derby 2 skipping that because that doesn't work. Okay, so Motorhead. Okay, so basically this is a test uh, during the Q&A, so hopefully it doesn't uh, crash uh, the, the PS3 or anything, crash any demos. At least I hope it just crashes the demos because that way I could still reset it. Okay, press any button to view demo. Okay then. Okay, what is your favourite games console? Good, good question. Uh, well, my favourite game console series would be the PlayStation, but if I were to pick which best PlayStation console, it would have to be... I don't know, I have to say PS3, to be quite honest. Because, I mean, well, it's got the online play, and, well, well PS4 is obviously going to be the next big thing because of its, uh, well, well real-life game graphics. I mean, I can't believe how much graphics have evolved over the past number of years. And, well, okay, Motorhead, that was pretty quick. Don't know if that was just a, that was probably just a video, but never mind. But if I were to say it would be PS3, because not only can they play, like, um, still older generation of games such as this one, which is what's playing at the moment, but... But I remember the original PS3 is also used to play the PS2 games as well. Okay, so... Move on to the next demo with Rage Racer. And question number four he asks is, would you say it's easy to keep multiple communities happy on one channel? Now that's a good question. Uh, if I were to say, it's kind of hard to do that because depending on what content you're doing on your channel, say for example, if you're just doing Minecraft and Call of Duty, for example, if you're just doing those two games. Rage Racer. Okay, so press start. And yeah, it'd just be kind of hard to keep people happy, whereas like if people were just looking for classic games, for example, if they found just Call of Duty and Minecraft, well, sure they'd be happy with Minecraft, but not Call of Duty, because they think it'd be absolutely overrated, but overall, I have to say, it's not easy, I think, to keep multiple, multiple communities happy because of, of that example, but anyway, um, I've got to scroll a bit too far up. Uh, Okay, so I'll just select that car. Racers, start your engines and let's get it on. Okay, then let's get it on indeed. Right then. Number five, what is your best favourite hobby or side of gaming? Two, one, go! Okay, this is gonna have to slow start. And the last question okay, he asks uh, oh well yeah I've already asked that, but uh, if I were to say it would be I mean, well, outside of gaming, it'd probably be just playing music, 
uh, watching movies. I'll just keep it in this view. This is sort of like Ridge Racer, like the original Ridge Racer in a way, but... Rage Racer, I'm pretty sure I know why it's called Rage Racer, because it's got awkward steering controls that could pe make people go in a rage. Yes, I know I said that, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, other hobbies, I mean, well, playing music or playing on the clarinet, listening to music... Oh, okay, I'll get out of my way, okay. It's not moving out of my way. And that's it for Chris Matter Games. Thank you for the questions, Chris Matter Games, and also to uh, Soggy Dam One, uh, Daniel, uh, my brother, and also for uh, Buttons Viz as well. Thank you for the questions so far. These have all been really good questions. And I honestly thought I would never get this many questions, to be honest. But when I do another Q&A session at some point in the future, I'll probably get more than, like, uh, how many questions was it? 33. Oh, okay, right. Never mind. Alright, Jay Preston 1998 is the next user, and he's got a co couple of questions for me. First one he asks is, are you going to do a 200 subscriber special or any type of subscriber special? Well, for a 200 subscriber special, I already have something in mind for that. I'm thinking about making a channel trailer for the 200 subscriber special using one of my uh, compositions that I made. I mean, along with my brother, so I'll just use that one just as like music just to show off like gameplay that I've done in the past. Okay, somehow that's got the music from Circuit Breakers, but never mind. But anyway, any type of subscriber special in the future, that's something I'm going to need to think about. Maybe a fail montage might be useful in the future if I failed that many times at video games, but... Okay, second question he asks is, are you going to do more Crash Bandicoot LPs after Crash Bandicoot 3? Another good question. And, oh, please reset your console after playing Scars. Thank you for saying that. And, and the answer to your question for that one is, yes, I will be doing more Crash Bandicoot LPs after Crash 3. I'll be doing the rest of the Crash Bandicoot games, excluding Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant, because I don't have those games. I have every other one, though, apart from those. So, it'll be Crash Team Racing, well, Crash Bash technically I've already done. And, oh, Ubisoft. And, yeah, so, and I'll be glad you'll be looking forward to them as well, so. Excellent driving model and computer opponents. Enjoy, thank you very much. Alright, then when we're going to begin our screenshots. Okay then. Next user, or second last user we have is ATG99, awesome ATG, and they use the controls. Accelerate, brake, oh, just all the uh, usual controls. Okay, switch by vibration on and off in pause mode. Well, I could do that in the PS3 menu, but never mind. Press start. Okay, so, what's the first question he asks, ATG? Uh, what are your favourite hobbies? Well, pretty much I answered that one already, which is basically... Oh, wait a minute, I thought I froze in there, but... Uploading. Okay, is it just me? Has this got the same music over and over again on this demo? But, yeah, I pretty much answered that question already, so... Be uh, listening to music, playing music on the clarinet, I mean, and also... Like watching movies, I mean playing games really, that's pretty much all my hobbies really, I mean even like going out, just doing some walking, getting some exercise, playing some sport like football, going out with friends, those are my hobbies basically and uh, okay and I've got a skull above my head, oh this is an elimination thing, oh okay I must have gone ahead by something, okay I thought this was an elimination match but Oh god. Okay, note to self, don't crash into the no entry signs because bad things will happen. Okay, so. Okay, R wants to fire the weapons, I think. Okay, I don't hit anyone with those weapons, and. God, right. Number two, which. Question number two, which generation of consoles is your favourite? Hmm. Good question. If I were to say which generation. It'd have to be the 7th generation, because I mean, all of the consoles in the 7th generation are good, I mean, especially like the Wii U and haha, have some of your own medicine. Ok, 
fucking oh god electric fence again. But yeah, all of them are fun, like the Wii, family friendly, very fun. And Xbox 60, I think it's also good as well. PS3, another good, great console as well. Okay, where am I in? 7th for wait, 5th place. Oh, speed boosting, oh god. Oh, pretty cool trick there. <laughs> and... Yeah, so that pretty much answers that one. And question three, if you could work with any famous YouTuber, who would it be? That's an interesting question. Uh, well, I'm not working with any of the channels that've got like 13 million subscribers because they probably wouldn't want to work with me anyway. People are thinking, oh, it's just a small channel and stuff like that. I probably wouldn't want to work with him. But, but again, what well, amazing trick and oh, that's the end of the demo. But if I were to do a c collaboration or even work with any other YouTuber, it would probably be. I'd stick with the new Renegade Order since they're still famous YouTubers and also uh, Hypersonic X2, I really hope I can do something with him because I mean he's well overall my favourite YouTuber, well, well one of my favourite YouTubers anyway. Okay so that's pretty much Scars and now we're moving on to Test Drive 5 and the final user we have for the Q&A session is none other than Rich Renegade and he has one question for me and he asks me what one game title or series would you like to see a remake for and why? Now, the answer to that question is Crash Bandicoot, hands down. There's got to be a Crash Bandicoot remake. But it's never going to happen, though. That's the thing. And it's a damn shame it's never going to happen because Activision have got the license and they're refusing like to publish a Crash Bandicoot game. So what reason, I don't know. It's probably because they're thinking, oh, Crash Bandicoot's not going to make us any money and anything like that. I'm oh, sorry, but I'm just kind of annoyed at Activision that they're not doing, like, they're not allowing any developers at all that are wanting to make the Crash Bandicoot games and they're refusing to go with it. But yeah, if I were to say Crash Bandicoot and also why would I want to see a remake of it? So people can remember Crash Bandicoot for what it is. Plus, Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash online play. Heck, even Crash Bandicoot 3 as well, like the uh, time trials for like online play, like see who gets the best time online. And also Crash Team Racing, Multiplayer Madness Online, the Crash Bash as well, the same thing. And also trophies as well. That's another good thing at Oh God. You know, crashing into a car. I seem to end up doing a lot of crashing these days. Okay, I'm second place, which is actually pretty good. I never thought I'd end up being second place. I'm assuming that's not the car is in first place. Okay, he screwed that up, I'm there in first place, so I'll just try to avoid the traffic the best I can. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for that one is Crash Bandicoot and the trophies system and online play for the classic Crash games. That's why I'd like to see. Whoa, okay, that was close. And that's pretty much all the questions for my QA session, so overall, thank you to everyone who sent me in the questions. These are all, those were all very interesting questions. And Crap. Okay, thank you for that boost. I'm now. Th what the heck? The steering's broken. There's a. Oh. Again, the steering is. Okay. That was a weird ending to the demo. The steering ended up being broken. 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 Ah, uh, right, never mind. Uh, excuse me for a second, just gonna get some water, so... Right, that's better. Okay. Failed, you do not finish in time. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all the questions for my Q&A session, so thank you very much everyone for sending in the questions. These were all very good questions, as I said. And I look forward to doing another Q&A session in the future, hopefully for another subscriber special, maybe at 500, you never know, but... Okay, night drive from realistic weather, okay. So, what else have I got to say for my channel? Well, for, for my future, well, I'll talk about my current LPs. Well, basically, I'm going to be continuing on my old well, start of the projects I've got going on at the moment, Crash Bandicoot 3. Now after that's done, as I said before, I'm going to be carrying over the rest of the Crash series and